this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add a streaming server to your Hike Central system. You can add a streaming server to Hike Central to get video data streams from the streaming server, thus lowering the load on the VSM server device. It's important to note that there is a very critical step that you must accomplish prior to actually adding the streaming server to your system. This step involves synchronizing the service component certificate from the VSM server or your Hike Central server to your streaming server. In order to accomplish this task, you're going to need to export the certificate from the Hike Central server and then import it to a specific location in the streaming server. Let's go over those steps first, and once completed, we can see how to add the streaming server to the system. We'll start by selecting the system icon and then take a look at the navigation tree. At the bottom of the tree, we're going to see Service Component Certificate. We'll click on that and choose Export. Select Save As. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my desktop so I can find it quickly and easily. Take note of the name. And now I can copy that certificate to a thumb drive and move it over to my streaming server. Now we're looking at the streaming server. I've inserted the USB thumb drive, so I'm going to launch File Explorer. I select the thumb drive, find my certificate file, and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the desktop so I can locate it easily. Next, I'm going to launch the Service Manager. And on the left hand side, you will see an import certificate icon. We'll go ahead and click on that, navigate to the certificate that we placed on the desktop, hit OK, and it says token import successful and confirm. That's it, that's all you need to do on the streaming server. Now that you've completed the exporting and importing of the service component certificate, we can go ahead and add the streaming server to our Hike Central system. The streaming server is a physical device, so we're going to go ahead and select the physical view. In the navigation tree of the physical view, we see streaming server, and there currently aren't any. We'll go ahead and click on add, and the first thing we can do is we can give this streaming server a name. We might call it streaming server or SS1 as an example. If the streaming server is located on your local area network, you'll go ahead and select LAN IP address and then input the correct IP address. If the streaming server is on the WAN, then you'll need to go ahead and input its WAN IP address. In my case, my streaming server is on my local area network and I'm gonna go ahead and put in its IP address. Next, you have several ports that you can leave at their defaults or you can change as necessary. So we have our real-time streaming port, video file streaming port, network port, and WebSocket port. If you need to access the streaming server via the WAN, you want to go ahead and enable WAN access. And now you will need to put the wide area network IP address for this server. And again, you have some ports that you can leave it the defaults or you can change as necessary. In our case, I don't have wide area network access, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that feature off. Once you have all of these items configured, you can go ahead and click on add, if this is the only streaming server you're going to add, or add and continue if you have additional streaming servers to add as well. We'll go ahead and click on add and our operation is complete. Our server is now part of the system, here is its alias of SS1, IP address, no streams actually being used right now, its status is online, CPU is 0%, RAM usage is minimal. If I need to modify any of those configurations, I can go ahead and click on the alias name and I can come here and make changes just as I did when I initially added it to the system. Remember that prior to adding the streaming server to your system, you must export the service component certificate from the Hike Central server and apply it to the streaming server. 
If the Hike Central server is updated, say new hardware or a major revision to the Hike Central software, you will need to re export the certificate and re import the certificate to the streaming server. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video.